Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be figuring out the mystery of the Sun Worshipper. Who this guy is, what his background is, and we're also going to be having some fun experiments with him as well, seeing if we can take him away from the heat and away from the sun to one of the coldest parts of the Red Dead Redemption 2 map. So I'm sure you guys have actually stumbled across the Sun Worshipper at one point in time if you've made your way to New Austin and the epilogue because you can actually run into him 12 times. We'll actually listen to some of the encounters that you can have and he is all over the New Austin area of the map. So I'm sure you've come across him and I'm sure you're wondering who he is. So a little bit of background on this character, his name is actually Bob Brownlee and the reason we know this is because of the credits of the game. Although he's never officially revealed as Bob Brownlee and in the in-game strategy guide, he's known as the Sun Worshipper. He's just a random NPC that worships the sun facing canyons. And he's just a bearded shirtless man wearing white pants. You can see he's very skinny, like you can see his rib cage and whatnot. And it's just kind of weird, all the things he does. Now, to give you some more background on him, we're going to take a listen to uh, a few of the conversations you can have. There are 12 in total. We're certainly not going to be listening to all of them. But what you're about to hear will give you a better idea of who the Sun Worshipper actually is. Hey, what are you doing, friend? Wandering. Me too. <laughs> Me too. What are you wandering for? Ah, uh, no idea. Man, me too. Me too. Oh, man, I'll, I'll see you around. Enjoy the sun. It's the one true god, you know. Helios. Nothing else matters. All else is lies. Howdy, mister. Oh, how you doing? Isn't it marvelous? Isn't it amazing? Simply wonderful. No god-awful clouds. Uh, it's a bit hot for me. Nonsense! And we're made for this heat. Made for it. Beautiful. Huh. Uh. Hey, partner. You know, America has always needed myths. America needs stories. Bunch of land of people who didn't like Europe too much. Quick, write a story. I don't need myths. I don't need a story. I have the sun. The sun is my story. I live for it. I'm more like a plant than a man. Be well now, friend. Stay warm. Mister? Hey, you found what you're looking for yet? Not really. Me neither. Me neither. So I gave up looking. But then I realized... It doesn't matter so very much. I have all I need here. Up there! That is all we need. The rest is man turned insane! Howdy, mister. You know what I blame, sir? Blame for what? Well, for mankind's folly, of course. No idea. Have a guess. Uh, greed? Stupidity? Artificial light. It's a curse. This she, she is our light. Live by her. The fake stuff, well, oh, every stupid thing we've done has been done under artificial light. I blame Prometheus. I really do. Okay. Good for you. Be well now, sir. Be well. <sighs> This isn't paradise, and truly, I don't know what is. Really, I don't. <sighs> it's a little hot for me. Hot? Why, this isn't hot. This is 
Warm? Hot as 130 in the shade. That's what we got last year. That was hot. This is mild, temperate, delightful. <sighs> Be well, friend. Life is warmth, sir. Life is warmth. I've told you that, you know. How do you even survive out here? What do you eat? Drink? Eat? Drink? I've got the sun! The sun is my nourishment. It's everything. At least for those of us who see properly. Well, I must be blind, then. Very sorry to hear that. Yeah. So that right there is the Sun Worshipper, and we get a few more details on this crazy individual. Uh, for starters, it seems like he worships Helios, which is the uh, god of the sun, at least in some cultures. And another interesting thing to note, and this is going to sound so weird, he might be a plant. So not only does he reference the fact that he's more like a plant than man, but when John asks him about how he eats and drinks and how he survives, he said he doesn't need food and water. He has the sun. That sounds very similar to some of the way plants consume energy through a process called photosynthesis, where they just absorb the sun's energy. That kind of sounds like what he's doing here, and it might explain why he's so skinny and looks as malnourished as he is, because he doesn't eat or drink at all, and he just relies on the sun. At this point, it's kind of a mystery how this guy is still alive, how he doesn't have like serious skin damage from being out in the blistering heat with no protection, and how he's just alive in general. So that gave you some pretty good background on the Sun Worshipper, who he is and what he's like. Now I want to try some experiments. So the first experiment that I thought of here was, could I bring this guy who loves heat and the sun to one of the coldest parts of the Red Dead Redemption 2 map? And unfortunately, I was met with some really bad news. And that is, you don't have the ability to lasso or hog tie him and that is just really unfortunate so if you happen to disturb him during one of his sun worshiping sessions he'll end up running off in the opposite direction and you'll have to chase after him he is really fast i think rockstar programmed the npcs to run like ultra quick because it's almost impossible to catch up with them if you are not on your horse and uh, unfortunately, this first time, I ended up killing the Sun Worshipper uh, accidentally. I did not mean to do that. And once he's dead, I could kind of lasso his body, but that really didn't help me out all that much. Now, you can loot him as well, and he doesn't have anything on him. Uh, he has like 50 cents or something like that. It's just a real small amount of money. There's no letters or anything like that that gives us any background or backstory on what's going on here. So I reloaded my save because I did want to try this one more time because I thought to myself, okay, maybe instead of trying to lasso him, if I actually tackled him with my lasso, maybe that would actually work. And once again, unfortunately, that really doesn't uh, do anything here. You're not able to capture the sun worshiper. And I don't know why this is the case. Typically when and I don't know why this is the case. Typically when Rockstar won't let you hog tie someone, it's because it physically wouldn't make sense for them to be carried on the back of a horse or over your shoulder. Like a good example of this would be Bray Aberdeen. That guy is massive. Like he has to be 300 or 400 pounds. And it's just unrealistic for that to go on the back of a horse or to be carried over Arthur's shoulder. But the Sun Worshipper, you know, can't be more than 150, 60 pounds soaking wet. Something easily someone like John or Arthur would be able to carry. So I'm not sure why that's the case. Maybe Rockstar just wanted to prevent silly experiments like this, bringing the Sun Worshipper to the cold. Now, once he is dead, or if you do decide to kill him, uh, you can put him on the back of your horse and bring him to somewhere cold, but 
that of course really doesn't do anything because I wanted to get a cool reaction out of the sun worshiper. Like, would he start to freak out if uh, we brought him to somewhere like the Grizzlies on top of a snowy mountain? Would he start panicking? The fact that it's so cold and he couldn't take this cold weather up here. But unfortunately, we aren't able to try any of that because the sun worshiper, although he's not an immortal character, like where you can't shoot him, for whatever reason, you cannot hog tie him. And that is a bit weird. Now, if I was able to keep the sun worshiper alive, one thing I definitely would have done with him is brought him to the sundial on top of Mount Shan. Maybe there would have been some connection there. I mean, the sundial is pretty mysterious in its own ways. The fact that it's on top of the mountain, maybe it's trying to tell us something, or maybe it's just a symbol to tell time. But either way, it would have been really cool to get this unique and interesting character up to something that he probably could have related to. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. That right there is some background information on the Sun Worshipper that you might not have known about and also some interesting details. And unfortunately, no way for us to do any fun experiments, which again is really unfortunate that Rockstar doesn't allow him to be hogtied so that we can take him to some unique locations where the sun is not so hot and it's not so bright. But anyways, that's all I've got for you guys in this video today. Again, hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating on this video. That'd be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.